Footage of a Ukrainian kamikaze drone hitting a seaport in the Russian Dagestan Republic has been released. The footage, which was shared on Telegram channels, was filmed by local residents. A powerful explosion occurred in the port after the A-22 kamikaze drone hit. There were no reports of casualties during the incident. It is worth noting that this is the first attack by a Ukrainian drone on the Republic of Dagestan since the start of the war. The city of Kaspiysk is located 1,500 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. There was a drone attack on the city of Kaspiysk in the Russian Republic of Dagestan. Local telegram channels reported this. This is the first drone attack on Dagestan since the start of the war. Ukrainian A-22 aircraft type kamikaze drone struck the port in the city. As a result, an explosion occurred in the area. There is no information about the casualties. Footage distributed on Telegram channels shows one of the drones being shot down. It should be noted that the city of Kaspiysk is located 1,500 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. Three flights were delayed at Makhachkala airport due to the drone attack. Pleasant. The Russian army, which is experiencing a shortage of personnel, has begun sending servicemen diagnosed with hepatitis C to the front despite the danger of this disease. This became known from a video message from a group of Russian soldiers who claim that their command is forcing them to go to the front lines, ignoring their health problems. According to the servicemen, instead of undergoing a military medical commission, they were sent to a new assault regiment, despite having a dangerous viral disease. We have viral hepatitis, and we are being sent to infect the Russian army, the soldiers said, adding that such orders endanger not only their health, but also that of other servicemen. In one of the messages, one of the soldiers said that in order to draw attention to his condition, he even swallowed razor blades, but was then punished and sent back to the front. Hepatitis C is a serious viral disease that affects the liver and can lead to cirrhosis and liver cancer. The virus is transmitted through blood and poses a threat in case of mass infection in conditions of close contact. The spread of the disease among military personnel can result in serious outbreaks of infection in the army, weakening personnel and creating additional medical and epidemiological risks. Earlier of this year, a Russian soldier from the Moscow's 5th Separate Motorized Rifle Brigade has described how troops in his unit, many suffering from serious illnesses such as tuberculosis and HIV, were thrown into fighting on the front lines and used as cannon fodder. 
The man accuses his military commanders of pointlessly causing the deaths of their men with their orders. He said that many military personnel who have been called up for duty in the Southern Military District are serious ill, this includes himself who has HIV. Discord over the war's duration and intensity appears to be growing among Russian soldiers. They discuss ways to give up serving and avoid further deployment to the front line while at home civilians panic about being conscripted. For the first time, the Kremlin has provided military personnel with instructions on how to arrange and care for mass graves which has become relevant in connection with Russia's significant losses in the war against Ukraine. According to The Telegraph, the 20-page manual titled Civil Defense – Emergency Disposal of Bodies in Wartime contains diagrams of mass graves with images of body bags arranged in several layers. The document also provides tables with detailed calculations of the resources and personnel required to prepare a burial site for 100 people. Usually, burying 100 dead in one mass grave takes about 368.5 man-hours, the instructions state. The guide, which is an updated version of the 2021 document, shows a rescue worker in a protective suit next to a helicopter on its cover. Russian troops have suffered about 1,200 casualties a day this year as Moscow tries to take advantage of Ukraine's mobilization and arms supply problems. According to Western intelligence, Russia's losses from deaths and injuries could reach 680,000 people, although the only known use of mass graves for Russian soldiers was recorded in the occupied territories of Donbass. Experts attribute Russia's heavy losses to the infantry swarm tactics in which soldiers try to take Ukrainian positions using sheer numbers. Ukrainian Armed Forces Commander-in-Chief Alexander Sirsky recently reported that Ukrainian forces are facing one of the most intense Russian offensives since the start of the war in February 2022. The Ukrainian Armed Forces are holding back one of the most powerful Russian attacks since the full-scale invasion, he said. Russian forces are seeking to seize strategic supply lines before the winter cold sets in. Up to 13,000 North Korean soldiers are expected to be deployed alongside Russian troops in the southern Kursk region after Ukrainian forces entered the region in August. There is growing concern among Ukraine's allies about the outcome of U.S. presidential elections. Republican nominee Donald Trump is skeptical of Ukraine's chances and could potentially cut military aid if he takes office.